You look at dirt late model racing, it's a lightweight, 2,300 pound cars, 850 plus horsepower. You like side by side hardcore racing, dirt late models, the ultimate. When they get to the corner, there's an opportunity. And you see four, two, three, and four wide racing on a dirt track than you'll ever see on asphalt. I, you know, there's a lot of technology under these cars, and uh, a lot more though, a lot more than people realize. And uh, uh, it's just, um, it's basically every man for himself out there. There's some things you do here, things on the front end. You know, it's just, but it, like I said, it's all trade secret stuff. We don't want to talk about it. Part of the unique thing here is putting the right tire on the right track condition to go to distance. Knock some of the mud off and uh, just get the rubber ready for another go. I couldn't do it. Nobody here could do it as a one guy okay. deal. And the only way that we're able to do it with here in this team is because I do have Tyler helping me. So. They've been putting calcium on the racetrack all week and they've got it so screwed up. You can't race on this shit. We got to, we got a backed up ignition, but we didn't get back to it in time, and I didn't want to pull down in anybody's pull out in anyone's way, so we just got it. We came in, got it swapped over, just ready to go now. Uh, should have the piece with a spark plug. Track Nate proceeded to screw it up. It's too big of an advantage chance. It we've got a we've got a tight, fresh bullet. You know, we're just going to plug it in and uh, get it ready for tomorrow. Pass inspection on the first time around, his rear deck was too high. And that would kill our night if all of a sudden we were out. I mean, we would just, it would end the weekend. So I need to get that cleared up now. Yes, we say our prayers every single time before he goes out on that track. We're always saying our prayers.